Hello and welcome. Today I'm talking with Machi Goss, IT Imaginations Architect slash Team Leader. Hello. Hello, hi. How are you doing today? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, interesting note is that we are currently talking from totally different places, as you can probably see, well, or can't see because you're listening on Spotify. We are at home. Uh, thanks to remote working. So, yay. Yes, um, 100% for fully remote. So, Maciej, if you had to describe yourself using three words, what would they be? Uh, okay, uh, this is the most difficult part. I'm well, you can, developer you... by heart, currently architect, also by heart. <laughs> and I'm if a passion to the cloud solutions, cloud concepts. Okay, so dev, architect, and cloud. And cloud, yep. Okay. Not exactly in uh, the disorder. Okay. Okay, not exactly. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Um, so, okay, but just to map your journey, you were first a developer. Yeah. And then you've become an architect. Exactly. Okay. I go through okay. the whole life cycle of the developer. So I start as junior developer, regular senior, team le lead developer, team leader, and architect now. <laughs> but currently okay. I'm team lead architect slash uh, team leader. Okay. Sounds cool. Um, oh, I can hear your dog go in the yeah. background. So your dog... Are you walking walking your dog often? Is that something that you do in your free time often, or uh, do you? Yes, uh, I do you... go free times per day, day with my dogs, uh, and I take this as work work break. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this, uh, um, dogs can be the best listeners. Yeah, exactly. So um, I suppose uh, your dog advised you how to fix the. Uh, is, sorry, is for that, for, sorry for that. <laughs> no, it's, it's not fine. Li listening to me. He's not listening to me. I, 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 I suppose that your dog helped you yesterday with re resolving your issues. Like uh, so, so. <laughs> you know the uh, so so well. So so uh, so finally we uh, put the ticket on the, to the Microsoft. <laughs> okay, so uh, just just for the context uh could you could you tell uh, us yes i have a problem with one of uh, azure cloud services and today we tried to resolve with a colleague this problem but without any luck so we start to uh, support ticket to microsoft to discover the issue behind this because we okay. go fully we go through the whole documentation and whole internet i, I would say but without any yeah. luck. I mean, if it's not on Stack Overflow, it doesn't exist. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, so. There's no in Google, so it also doesn't exist. Yeah, so maybe the bug doesn't exist. I don't know, far we know. Um, but is there is there something else besides walking the dog that is that is that is your free time activity? Uh, yes, I, if I when I have a small amount of time. I love to play games on my on my Xbox. Uh, in some time, it's uh, Witcher or Cyberpunk from or so this the uh, pro, uh, Red CD Projekt Red mm -hmm. team uh, games. But currently, I also play in the Tropico. So some mm. uh, strategy games also I love I like. But playing games is a uh, I suppose I say a, lim a limited time when I have when I have because I have also family to kids, so this time oh, yes. is really limited. I, I can I can only imagine. Um, so would you say that gaming is your passion? Mm, I think the gaming and also lately I start also to play through with the Lego, Lego Star Wars. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I can, I can show you one, one, one more. Uh, 
something oh. like that. <laughs> Damn, how many pieces? Uh, it's uh, 700 pieces. Okay. So not not more, but it's uh, 18 plus. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, when you when you need to come up with a with a solution, it's always it's always also yes. good to. And I you know. also some uh, already built, something like that. Oh, cool. So I have Pretty almost neat. the whole collection. Okay. Pretty neat, not going to lie. Um, <laughs> so would you say that working from home is better for, for recharging your batteries or is it worse? Because mm-hmm. I'm asking because yep. it's... It it happens sometimes that people cannot find boundaries between yeah. work and home when they get up from bed and they they're in the yeah, office. The, the mythical word work life balance uh, for me yes. personally is better to work from home and, uh, and I don't have a problem with work life balance because I work that way currently about three four years. The three years mm-hmm. is a uh, full. 100% full remote, but I started almost uh, four years ago with the re- remote work in the part time. So uh-huh. in this time, I learned a lot about uh, work life balance and how to work remotely. I already built for me my small piece of uh, workplace uh-huh. in this in this year. So uh-huh. I think it is a better place. I don't, I don't lose many time for the communication to go to the workplace and so on. So I have totally. also, also, also more time for my family and for my hobbies. Totally. Totally. Yes. Um, yes. Um, I, you know, I totally agree. Um, working remotely is, is, is really cool. And I think that, um, this is one of the, very few positives about the pandemic is that it yeah. really increased the tempo of the, of the digital of remote transformation. Work. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. Like it's, it's a horrible thing that happened. It's a, it's a really horrible thing. And, and I, I wouldn't, if I could have prevented it, I would have, but at the same time, it's, there are some positives coming out of it. Um, yes, exactly. So, uh, one of one of positives so also uh, cloud adoption. <laughs> so for me yeah. personally, it's uh, great information. Yeah, and for Microsoft and and Amazon and and, and Google, Google. Google, Google. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you heard about um, the European Cloud um, Initiative? Yes, I hear about this. Uh, we all have also recently the Google Cloud announced the build of data center in, near Warsaw. So mm-hmm. we have all, already, we have the data center in Poland. Mm-hmm. And the next uh, big player in this in this field was uh, Microsoft, they, which also announced the build of data mm-hmm. center in Poland, in the Polish region. Mm-hmm. And I hear that this data center will be done in the next year. Mm-hmm. So I think this initiative is a uh, great information and especially it's a great information for finance and banking uh, institutions because uh, till this time their main stop uh, i would say stop players for the cloud adoption and now the all regulations with data where data should be stored is not a problem yet currently okay um to be clear, what I referred to was the movement and the push from the European uh, Union to establish a European uh, cloud player, um, yeah. because um, well, the obvious domination of of American cloud providers, exactly, um, which is you know, which it, it is what it is. Um, have you heard it? What do you think about the uh, the European push for a for a player? Uh, I think it, but first of all, in the Europe, we also have the cloud providers, right? So this is not the case okay, that only Microsoft, Amazon, and so on, so on, the only one provide the cloud providers. 
but uh, European providers are much smaller than the big three, right. those players. So I think uh, those companies like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon, is are, are they too big? So I think the European uh, is, European uh, institutions say that some one or more uh, European cloud providers so should join forces, and this is the way they should go. I think. Okay. Because the these companies are too big. Okay, makes makes sense. Um, so you are. Um, incredibly knowledgeable about the topic of of the cloud, which you you like sharing the knowledge because you're you're a competence leader at IT Imagination, and on top of that, you speak at events. Could you yes, tell us a bit more true. about that? Uh, I speak on the first of all. I speak on the summer in uh, user group events, so I talk about uh, some mobile applications. Uh, in the few few years ago, I have uh, some concepts about mobile application development, so I gave a talk about this. Uh, and uh, currently, I also give some talks about uh, cloud, and this is the ma- currently my main point of interest, especially mm-hmm. in Azure, but also I go to Amazon Cloud, and I hope till the, till the next uh, year or end of this year, I go to the Google Cloud, so I have knowledge, solution architect knowledge from the all three mm-hmm. players. Uh, but as I, as you say, I love to share what I learn. So I write also on my private blog. I try to record some YouTube videos about Azure. Uh, so mm-hmm. a lot of stuff <laughs> I'm trying to try to to do. Yes, on top of which you advise clients on what technologies to use. Is that, is yes, that also this, true? this is one, one of my uh, main responsibilities in the last cloud uh, architect and competence leader. Okay. Okay. Um, and still there is more because you're a mentor, you're a professional mentor to uh, junior um, architects, developers. Um, yes, the, I advise also developers and uh, DevOps engineers uh, about technology, architecture, uh, how they could self improve, uh, self development, uh, what tools they should use. Okay. What is, what is, um, do you have a go to, I mean, Mm, do you have a set of go-to, let's say, services and solutions you you you, you go for? Is there like a safe bet that, that that you know you can you can always use in in certain situations? Um, I, I know mm. there is there is the, the number of services is overwhelming. Yeah. Um, is is yeah? It's so overwhelming that the, if we we're supposed you say to like evaluate typical uh, stack for the applications, right? Uh, let's say that yes, a corporate mm-hmm. um, client comes and, and they so, say, "Oh, so I want to answer as a consultant." It depends. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> they taught me that as well. Um, but okay, uh, so let's say that a corporate client comes, right? Yeah, and they say, "We wanna." It's an international company, so they wanna serve international markets. They say, well, we want to, I don't know, let's say a new social media okay. network, let's say, right? And they and they go, okay, how would we go about it? What, uh, would, you, what would you say? I would say, uh, first of all, start small so we can take the most simplest, uh, simple services from uh, each of the provider. It, that it, this is ne- not necessary if you choose the Azure or Amazon or G- or Google Cloud because all of those providers have almost the same uh, services. The, the only difference in the details. Uh, but first of all, start start small. 
take for example some uh, small computer uh, compute uh, service but i don't recommend the virtual machines because they are higher price than uh, another services so for we go to directly to the some software as, as a service platform or pass offerings or platform as a service uh, next we also need to some some kind of uh, database if this is a social media example we can for example choose some document the database or nor, nor sql database and we also need to think about uh, geo redundancy because such such application will be hosted in different regions so people from the around of the world should have quick access to this application uh, this is not an easy answer for uh, such topic because there is some amount of uh, other, uh, I would say, key factors to choose uh, services. So I cannot uh, say that's uh, uh, one way to go for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, asking that complex question for you to answer in five minutes is uh, perhaps torture. When you upskill, yourself what resources can you recommend uh, currently i go to the i love uh, i love uh, watch content so i watch okay. on the youtube uh, some plural site uh, udemy uh, but for me also when i start to learn something new when when i finish the watch of something i threw it try to learn others of this topic, about this topic. So I also already check my knowledge if I know uh, about this topic. And I try also to some go into code and try to build using those, for example, services, if I learn about this topic. Understood. But I think the for me, especially the most uh, the most gratificial uh, part is to learn others and this is the way how, how i check my knowledge okay that makes sense it's it's often said that when you cannot teach others you do not truly yeah, understand the topic exactly um and and judging judging by the road you have you have already um passed because zamar into azure is is I mean, well, it, it is it is some way apart. It's not like they are very uh, similar topics. Um, it's it seems like your method is working. Um, mm, I think, isn't it? <laughs> I hope right. so. Yes, uh, as we can as we can see. So the the only the only really question left for me here is to ask, well, how how did you decide to? switch from Xamarin from apps to cloud? Was it like you woke up one day and, and, and thought, okay, I'm going to switch, mm -hmm. or I don't know, you, you were taking a shower and then I'm going to switch. I, previously, I was a backend developer. Next, I was the full stack developer. And someday I think that I want to try something new and I choose the mobile development. So I start to learn about this. Uh, when my previous company gave me this, this opportunity, I built the application in Xamarin, by auto, but also I learn Objective-C and uh, Swift. So I also try to build uh, native applications for mm -hmm. iOS. And so I, I think uh, I can, uh, my goal is to, I have a knowledge that I can uh, learn everything. So if something is not cool and is, I think I suppose, mm, is not uh, more interesting for me, I can just switch uh, the technology and the area yes. of interest. Mm -hmm. But uh, the whole IT ecosystem and uh, space such huge that we can uh, choose many topics from from this part we can choose for example go to and be the hardcore developer i would say 
and go deeper deep into different kind of languages. But we can also switch uh, direction and we can start to learn others, for example, in IT world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there is something that I that I that I've sensed uh, when I was uh, listening to you, and it's and it strikes me that you aim for versatility. Is mm -hmm. it is it true? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, is there any specific reason, or do we just want to know what's going on around you? I want, everything that is going on. Around. I think uh, for me personally, I think. Because I was, ar I am architect. I want to know uh, broader, have a broader knowledge about uh, various topics, so I know how to connect uh, different parts and, for example, boxes. For for example, mobile box uh, and the uh, cloud box to together to help uh, to have the some solution for enterprise, for example. Mm -hmm. All right, that makes sense. And it's a good note to end on as well. Uh, so here you go. Uh, I was uh, just talking to Maciej Goss. Maciej, thank you very much uh, for your time. Thank you. It was, it was lovely to talk to you. Um, and on this note, I would like to thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.